Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Chemchem17. Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. We're going to be watching is some team death match on the map Stronghold. I was using the ICR through this uh, gameplay because it's been one of my favorite assault, rif assault rifles to use alongside the Man of War, the MAA7, and I, I think that's the only three I use. Even though I've just prestige, so it took me two days, two days to prestige for about 17 hours. I could have done it a lot quicker, but this game is taking it's so slow to uh, level up. But David Von Hard did tweet out that it's meant to be like this. It's meant to take you 24 hours. So I did it in 17 or 16, which is not too bad. Uh, so I'm level 6 in the, or 7 in the new prestige. I've just started to play it, but I got off just to make this video. And um, so, yeah, I'm just going to talk about how I'm finding Black Ops 3 so far. What are the good things and what are the bad things? Because as you get, every Call of Duty has obviously a bad thing to it. So the good things are that pretty, you can use pretty much any single gun and still be at an advantage. Each gun shines in its own way. I just like this gun because it's low recoil and uh, high damage. Along, and I didn't have the MH to use, so this was the go-to gun. I just decided to use it, level it up, get it to the max, and then move on to another gun. Because I don't like sticking to one gun when you can use all the other guns. Because it's not advanced warfare, as we know, where, they are, where in advanced warfare you can only use the bow. So yeah, that's really good about this game. The gun variety is just it's insane what you can use. And um, yeah, so as you can see there, the movement as well. The movement is so, so fluid. I just love how... You can like jump up and still shoot, mantle over things and still shoot. You can boost jump still, but it's not so fast and insane that you could probably. I could have died in that situation if they had good aim. When Advanced Warfare, if you did that, you've got the kill. It's guaranteed, basically. So yeah, the movement in this game is really good and fluid, and it's not that. It's not so fast that you can't really keep up. Like that's what I used to do when I first started playing this game. I used to rush everything because I'm. That's what I was used to in Advanced Warfare. You used to just running around gunning, but in this game, you got to slow it down. Take your time, not to the point where you're camping or anything, but you know, just trying to lock down an area and uh, see how many kills you can get there, then move on to another place because people will come back and try to kill you as, as they would do in any Call of Duty. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun. You, uh, the kill streaks are insane, especially the Wraith. Oh my god, that thing is, if you haven't got it yet, you're not high enough, enough level. I recommend when you do get up to that level, then you unlock it. I permanently unlocked it because I prestige now, so. That is my permanent unlockers. The M8 was good, but I'm not really too fond of bursts, like assault rifles. And that's what my friends were telling me to unlock. They're telling me to unlock that, but I'm not really used to keep having to press the gun. I like just having to hold down the trigger, and that's it. It does it for me. So I decided to go with the Wraith because I was having so much fun before I prestige, just absolutely destroying, dropping like 70, 80 bombs. The highest I've got so far is a 90, and the highest kill streak I've gone on is a 25. I was five off the nuclear. I had two nuclears in the beta, but I haven't got one in the in the full game yet. So I'm still working on that, and I'm still working on 100 plus in this game. I haven't, I didn't get that in the beta, and that was the one thing that I wanted to do. Is if I didn't get a nuke, I went to the 100 plus, and I got 90 so far. Uh, so hopefully I can get it soon, and then put that up on YouTube because that'd be insane. I don't think I've ever got actually knowing ghosts, I, I got like 200 and 300. So, but that's just spawn trap, and I don't want to really do that. I want the kill streaks to go in. I want myself to go in. So yeah. The game is absolutely insane. I've played so many hours so far. Back to back nights, staying up to 3 4 o'clock in the morning just playing. But let's talk about the bad things now. And there's only one major, well, two, but they coincide major bad things in this game. And the, you can probably guess, but the first thing is the connection. Like, oh my god. In the, the beta, it was bad. But in the full game, it's so much worse. And what I'm thinking is, how did you have a beta? And then two months to like fine tune the game and the connection is still this bad. It, yesterday it was almost to the point, the second the servers went down twice yesterday and I absolutely turned on that kid right there. The servers went down twice yesterday and I'm just, I'm wondering what, like why is it, I don't get it, like how, <laughs> I don't even know. But basically, yeah, the, the servers just suck, they suck ass. Uh, and another thing that's quite irritating is when you're trying to join your friend's party and stuff like that, it's impossible. Some sometimes you can't even run in a five man. It won't literally you won't you can't find a game, uh, and that's even if you get to a five man. If you can get five people in the same party, you're doing something right because it is so hard. I don't know when it will get better or if it's going to get better, but it needs to get better. That's what I'm saying because it. I want to play with my friends. You know, you want to roll in the squad and just destroy noobs, but you can't because you can't even get into a goddamn party together. 
But when it does work, it works perfectly fine. And the game, like I said before, is insane. And I forgot to talk about just a second ago that this scythe that I'm using, the robot guy, he is, if you, the arm, he is absolutely insane. That machine gun on his arm literally melts, kids. I don't know, it's so powerful. And it's obviously, it's got to stay powerful like that because it's one of the special abilities. But I can't tell you the amount of times I've got that that scythe and got my kill sticks just from using that one that one robot arm because they just run into your bullets especially if it's like domination and trying to cap a flag if they're all running towards that flag you can probably get all six off the flag with that with that machine gun thing it's so good but yeah guys this gameplay is coming to the end i absolutely carried the team um i got the hater and the wraith in this gameplay as well and it's just a good demonstration of how good it is and the iron sights on this gun as well are insane. I see people put a uh, red dot sight on it, but I don't really think it needs it. But guys, like I said before, if you did enjoy the gameplay, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That would really be appreciated. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I went 37 and 5. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying Black Ops 3 as much as I am. And I'll see you in my next video.